Hello everyone, this is Alex here from the Retro Review. Um, here to show you, show off my iMac G3, 500 megahertz CD-ROM model. This is from summer 2001, um, and it is widely known as the last of the iMac G3s produced. The system has 384 megs of memory, a 20 gig hard drive, an ATI Rage uh, Ultra, ATI Rage 128 Ultra um, graphics. The CRT is a 15 inch. 1024 by 768 CRT tube which also can do uh, 800 by 600 and 640 by 480 it is running Mac OS 9.2.1 and um, yeah currently I'm downloading Unreal Tournament 99, which is a very fun and um, engaging uh, shooter that you, um, first person shooter that you um, compete against other players over a network or through the internet. Um, yes. Um, for those wondering, I am part of the Power PC Gaming Lounge on Facebook. Um, this is uh, going to be my main system I try and play from. Um, the system is a recent, um, a recently, uh, something I recently acquired from my local Goodwill, actually. And um, I am excited as excited as you all out there watching this video. Um, if you guys could uh, feel free to recommend any games down in the comments, that would be very helpful other than the ones that I already have on here. I currently have Quake, Doom, and... Um, And I also have, um, um, Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition. Um, Doom in particular needed a source port in order to run properly. Um, the regular the regular game had problems with the sound and the source port did away with that problem but introduced some slowdown in some areas um, other than that I was able to get the CRT uh, to fill the screen like it's supposed to it took a little bit of fiddling and it's not exactly perfect from looking at the top sometimes but um, I got it to fill the screen just perfectly fine and I'm sorry for the flicker vision that's just what happens with CRTs especially at a, um, a slower um, Hertz rating if this CRT could could have done 1024 by 768 at 60 hertz, I think it would have um, synced up with the camera on my iPhone here pretty dang easily. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and share some gameplay once this is done downloading. The nice thing about this system is that the speakers are not messed up at all. 
um, they're practically perfect. And the optical drive, although it's only a CD-ROM drive, can um, actually um, eject a CD just fine. I currently don't have iTunes loaded up on this yet. Um, that'll eventually be loaded on later on. As for how I'm getting internet connection uh, to this machine, is I am tethering to my Mac Pro down here, uh, which is just running in the background. Um, it's relatively quiet these days. No spinning hard disk except for my data drive. Um, I threw an SSD in it, so it runs practically like it were like if it were brand new so to be honest I wasn't a huge fan of the keyboard and mouse um, that the seller that that Goodwill has uh, bundled with this machine I would have preferred the original uh, keyboard and mouse that would have came with this unit this is an indigo 500 um, of course, and, um, I'm just glad to have another system that has dual firewire ports on it, to be honest. Um, anyhow, you're probably wondering how it, how well it performs. I'll be sure to get, uh, Norton, uh, the Norton Utilities, uh, installed on here so I can get a benchmark. Um... This is just a late night, um, um, video on this machine, just so I have it out there, and future videos involving this machine will be posted when I have the time. I currently am busy enough that I don't exactly have the ability to make more videos, um, for my channel at this point. Um, I'm glad you guys understand as well as I do um, in regards to my work schedule. <laughs> but anyhow, um, if you're curious how well this thing plays games, um, supposedly it can do Unreal Tournament 99 at low settings. I'm not entirely sure about that though. I'll have to see. I haven't really tested this yet. The only other things I um, would like to try on this and load up on this is Kids Bix. Or kid picks. Um, the backstory behind that is, is that I um, was, is that I was that I was introduced to these machines when they were relatively new. Back in the day, um, these these systems were actually the older. Um, uh, trail order models like the last ones to come out so um, we actually got to experience kids picks on those machines along with the uh, short-lived uh, molar Mac G3 um, so this system being so close to the original systems that I experienced the Mac on I'll be loading up the same suite of um, edutainment and creativity apps and games onto this machine um, just for my siblings to enjoy from time to time. 
And of course I'll go back and enjoy some of that myself. Um, I just popped in Freddy Fish 3, one of the games that I remember from my childhood, playing on Windows machine, into this machine and it plays just fine. So one thing about the optical drive is that although the fact that it's a CD-ROM, it doesn't have the issues of the earlier models getting the with the drive getting stuck. I can only assume that the optical drive was so little, so seldom used that it just functions perfectly. And actually, I think the whole system it was seldom used because the speakers aren't blown, the display is good, and the optical drive, obviously, works just fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little overview um, of this system, and I hope you enjoy. I hope you join me for future videos involving this system. This has been Alex from the Retro Review. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I upload videos when I can. Um, when I'm busy, and, um, if I'm not, expect some more videos in the, in the, when the breaks come around. Like winter break, spring break, summer break, and, uh, Thanksgiving break. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'll see you guys around. Hope you enjoyed it.